Oh my gosh, hello. I know you guys did not expect to hear from me so soon, but the Emmys are tonight. So I just wanted to review some of the red carpet looks from the Emmys. Um, I'm not gonna be reviewing anything that actually takes place at the ceremony, but just the red carpet looks because I love to kind of look at red carpet outfits and give my critique. And to me, it's always the most fun part of the ceremony anyway. So I think I'm gonna categorize this into my worst looks of the night and then my best looks of the night. And of course, I will explain why. And as always, remember these are my opinions, but feel free to share yours in the comments. So the first look is Julia Garner. She's wearing Gucci. I don't like this at all. I think the best part of it is the silhouette and the stomach cutout, but I think that the like floral embellishments, appliques, I don't know what those are called. I just think they do too much. Maybe if they were only in the bottom of the dress, that would help. And also her earrings don't really match the dress. They're kind of like studded and it just, it just doesn't match the dress. I don't think the shoes match either. I think she's short in real life, so the platforms make sense, but I don't necessarily like them. I wish they would have been either black or a color that actually matches that like lighter champagne color that's in the um, flowers on the dress. I think her hair looks great and I do hope she gets cast as Madonna, so good for her. I don't like that look. Next is Sydney Sweeney. She's wearing Oscar de la Renta. Uh, again, I like the silhouette. I think the silhouette is interesting and they were onto something, but the fabric of the dress just looks extremely bulky, like especially around the hip area. I just know like if she tried to sit down in it, it would just like crinkle and make that like sound like a roll of wrapping paper. It doesn't look good. I'm trying to think of more things that I like about it. I like the color. I do like the color. And um, whoever does her hair and makeup, I think they do a really good job every time. And like, she has like these really gorgeous blue eyes and they like almost never overdo them with makeup. Her hair and makeup always looks great. I feel like her red carpet looks are hit or miss. I've seen some that I really, really like and I've also seen some that I don't like at all. I think this one, if I had to scale of one to 10, I'd give it a six. That might be high, but I just feel like I see potential. Her hair looks really good. Next is Quinta. As much as I love her, this is a monstrosity. Uh, she's short and like the, the bottom of the dress is just pooling on the red carpet. I also don't like the straps that, that are kind of like going around her arms. I just feel like they're not, they can't be keeping the dress up. So I'm not sure what they're there for. I do like the color. I do like the color a lot. I don't like her rings. I like that they didn't put a necklace on her since the top half of the dress already has a lot of like embellishment and bling going on her hair and makeup look good too next is hannah waddingham i honestly don't know who she is i just saw this on um instagram i was looking at the, the looks coming through live on instagram i don't have twitter so i just kept refreshing my explore page on instagram i don't know who this is but as soon as i saw it i just thought prom dress like it looks like a sherry hill dress it doesn't look like a red carpet dress i don't have that much to say i like the color but it looks like a prom dress that's it <sighs> Cheryl Lee Ralph, if it was October 31st, she would have ate. She would have ate, it's giving Halloween. Anytime I see orange and black together, I don't like it. So this is like nothing personal. I don't like the mini purse either. I like the hair, but I feel like it's too much with what the dress is doing. But the orange and black, it's perplexing. I don't like it. Laverne Cox is my girl for sure. I like where this look is going. I like it in the top half, I feel like She's wearing uh, John Paul Gaultier, by the way. I feel like if this look was pants, it would have been perfect. I just don't like the fact that it's a mini dress. If it was pants, perfect. So I don't, I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I just wish it was pants. And then with the ponytail, I really can't see the rest of it because um, it looks like it's behind her head and her back. But I hope it's not like just a shoulder length pony. I can't tell. I haven't seen any other picture of the look. But if it's like this long, dramatic to her ass ponytail then then I feel like that's good. If it's a short ponytail, it should be longer, but give this look some pants and it's an A plus for me. This is Hoyeon Jung in Louis Vuitton. Um, I, they do her dirty. They do her dirty on occasion. I didn't like her Met Gala look either. I don't like this look either. I thought it was Chanel originally. It's not. I like the dress. I like the silhouette. I don't like the pattern and I don't like the colors. I feel like the pastel colors do absolutely nothing for her. I think her hair looks amazing. 
I really like when she does like the short hair and the wispier bangs. I've also seen pictures of her with this like sort of rust colored hair and I like that a lot too. I feel like the purse is unnecessary. And I couldn't even tell that she was carrying a purse at first because the dress is so busy. Louis Vuitton needs to do better with her. Like, I feel like this is like Kristen Stewart with Chanel. Like, just do better or let her go. Free her. Free her. Elle Fanning is my girl. I usually absolutely love her red carpet looks. This one, apparently, um, so she's nominated for The Great, which I watched that show and I like it. The designers who designed her costumes on The Great actually designed this dress. And it's a flop for me. It looks like... <laughs> This is going to sound terrible, but like, you know, when you're watching Project Runway and this designer has like a really ambitious plan and it doesn't work out and it's almost time for them to go on the runway. So they just pin something on really quickly. And then Tim is like, oh, my God, like, look at the stitching. Look at the hymns. It looks terrible. This is that for me. I don't like that it's black. I feel like um, like the darker colors don't really work well on L. She's really pale and I feel like it doesn't suit her well and her coloring with the blonde hair and blue eyes. I feel like Lily Collins is an example of someone who has a pale complexion but really dark dramatic colors look good on them. I feel like Elle's red carpet looks always suit her better when she's wearing like those light more pastel colors. I see that they tried to add a touch of that with the pink on the inside of the dress but I feel like it's just not enough and I feel like the construction of the dress is lacking. It looks very floppy and dilapidated. I also completely understand what they were going for with her, I believe, I believe, but it still looks underdone. Like it looks like they were gonna take the curls out and that wasn't the complete look, but she didn't have time. And I get that the hair is intended to be an updo, but it doesn't look as intentional as I'm sure that it was, if that makes sense. Um, Coleman Domingo has disappointed me. Usually I like his red carpet looks, but this is like, he's in his Billy Porter era. I don't like this. It just, it looks very cheap. Like the gold, it looks cheap. Like he looks like he could be like a wall in a Victorian home. I don't like this. Usually he's very fun and like out there and risque, but it works. I feel like this time he took a risk and it didn't land. I also don't like the sheer black shirt. It kind of reminds, I don't know why, but it reminds me of like around like the 2015, 2016 times when American Apparel had like a sheer like jersey sort of shirt, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. That's what it reminds me of. I think it's the fact that it has sort of like that ringer collar that's like opaque and then like the shirt itself is sheer, but that's that's what I think of. This is Lily James and Versace. I love this look. I like the color of the dress a lot. I like this brown, but it sort of has like metallic undertones. And I also like the neckline and the cutout of the dress. And I like it a lot on the um the Versace dresses that do a leap award that were kind of similar and cut to this. But Lily's is obviously longer, it's floor length. I don't like that you can see, I don't know if it's a slip under the dress or just the dress itself. I don't really like that. I do like the draping around the waist. Like she kind of looks like, like it, it gives Statue of Liberty vibes, but not in, not in a frumpy way. Like I like it a lot. I do like this hair color on her. I felt like I had more to say. I don't think I do. I like that she's not wearing a necklace here. I feel like the neckline has enough drama to it where the necklace would just detract from it. So I think that's a good choice. I feel like it's understated and the dress gets to speak for itself as it should because it's a great dress. I like this look. I feel like Alexandra knows her look and knows like what looks good on her and she's going to stick to it. I've seen her wear this color a dozen times. I've seen her do this kind of fresh face makeup with a pop bold red lip a dozen times. But the standout for me this time is the haircut. I like the short bob. I like it when she keeps her hair dark because it obviously emphasizes her super, super gorgeous eyes. I don't have a lot to say about this look, but it is very well tied together and very well put. And I feel like it's not a standout, but it's just one of those looks that's not crazy. So I'm like, you know, thank you for sticking to what you know, but adding a little bit of an interesting element. So it's good for me. I love this look and I love this color. And she just always looks so fun and flirty and put together. I feel like Sandra O oh and Tracy Ellis Ross usually have like kind of similar red carpet energy. I don't have much to say but not in a bad way. Like this looks really good. And I like that even though it's like the suit and the blouse and the pants that not all three of them are made out of the same sort of fabric and that the, the top has a more satin vibe to it and the jacket and pant are more sequined. I will say if I had to make one critique that it could have been tailored better. I don't really like the tailoring of the pants. 
Um, this is Nicholas Braun and Dior. I like it. it. It's giving Hunger Games. It's giving when PETA got hijacked by the Capitol. I like it. My only critique is I wish he would have either worn white shoes or worn silver shoes to kind of tie the whole look together. But I do like when men kind of try to do something different. Don't get me wrong, this is still very much a normal suit, but I do like that the jacket has a little bit of asymmetry in it to make it at least somewhat interesting. So I like it. He looks good. When I saw this picture, I did not realize it was Seth Rogen until I like scrolled down to the next person. I was like, wait, was that Seth Rogen? I don't know why, but like when I look at it, I think Easter Bunny, but like I like it. I like the platinum blonde hair on him too. Like he just looks good. Like it kind of, rem it just, it reminds me of like vanilla, but it's cute. Like I like it for him. It it's a look. It looks good. He looks clean. I like it. I have no idea who this is. Please let me know in the comments and the website I was looking at. It didn't name her. It didn't say who she was wearing. I can't tell what the um, fabric of the dress is. It looked kind of like leather or pleather or like vegan leather or something like that. But it also kind of looks like PVC. So I'm not entirely sure. And I can't tell if the dress is black or forest green. It looks dark green to me. I like it. It's, it's unexpected and I like the cutouts. I actually like the circular cutout at the top. It kind of gives me like futuristic and space vibes. And again, I like that they didn't put a necklace on her because it's not necessary with all of the cutouts and the, the kind of triangular neckline. But I like that they gave her some interesting earrings. They still don't do too much, but they're interesting. And I feel like the slick back hair is just the cherry on top. Like I hate when a woman is wearing a dress that's like this interesting and then they have her hair down and it's just kind of covering some of the, the details on the dress or covering the neckline. This looks amazing. I wish they would have told me who this is. Like I, I don't even have any guesses. So please let me know. Zendaya. So when I first saw this on Instagram, I thought it was navy blue. Um, it's black. The cut reminds me of that heinous Met Gala dress she wore when she was Cinderella. It's Valentino, by the way. I like everything from the hair to the makeup to the necklace to the corset and the bodice of the dress. It's the skirt that ruins the whole entire look for me. Like, just bear with me for a second, but imagine if this was a pants. Like, imagine if this was a pants. And we can keep the bodice and it can just have a peplum moment. We've seen her do it before and it looks great. But I'm just, I'm just confused by the skirt of this dress. And I know it's Zendaya. I know she's a heavy hitter when it comes to the red carpet. But this isn't it for me. This isn't it for me. And it pains me to say it. Because her hair looks amazing. Her makeup looks amazing. But that skirt. No, I just, ugh, I don't like it. If it was a pant, this look would have been like, oh my God, like she ate, best look of the night, but the skirt ruins it. But yes, that was just a very quick video of me recapping some of the looks. Of course, I plan to do this for some of the other award shows that are coming up. I'll definitely do it for the Oscars, definitely for the Grammys. And even though it's a long way away, I will definitely be doing it for the Met Gala. Please let me know what you think of the looks, what you think of my commentary. I'm not a fashion expert. I just like to look at red carpets and runways. And I also didn't plan to do this video, so I don't have any notes. This is me just more or less looking at the looks blind and giving you guys my kind of fresh impressions and just having fun with it. And like I said, if you have thoughts, just share them below. And I will still see you guys with my regular Saturday upload. Love you guys. Bye-bye.